That's five hundred ten. Yeah, that's good. Still kind of your man. All right, let's just say in Texas. We have the Texas Democratic primary, and there is Val, and there is Pearson, there is Diego, I misspelled it, but that's okay. And there is, let's go with uh, matter at all, but in a lot of ways it's all that matters. What Jimmy got going for? The girl. Should that matter? And she's a minority. Should any of that matter? No. But it's all that matters. There's going to be people that vote for her because she's a girl. There's going to be people that vote for her not going to vote against her because she's a girl. Both of them are wrong. And then Diego is Hispanic. It doesn't matter, but it's all that matters. Some people vote against him because he's Hispanic. Some people vote for him because he's Hispanic. They're both wrong. It's short. It is short. Yeah. So is Diego. But he's a short Hispanic. Yeah. Whole Now me, what do I got going for me? What do I got going for me? I'm an old white guy. So I'm the problem. You've been through it. Okay, I'm the problem. Right. So let's say Ryle gets five percent of the vote. Pearson gets ten percent of the vote. Diego gets. 30% of the vote, let's say 33% of the vote. I don't know any numbers. Let's say Jimmy gets 38%. percent going to play later. Um, my phone is going to ring the next day. I'm going to give my little speech at the hotel at the little, little room. I have balloons everywhere and flags, and I'll stand up and talk about how the fight is not over. And we're. we're but we're, fi we're finishing the fight, but uh, I thought my support behind the next president of the United States. <laughs> I got five people here right now. Um, who's calling me? Uh, Hold on. All these people are calling me. Because if Cade gets my 5%, now he's semi legit. What's up? But you have like your Republican primaries and your Democratic primaries and stuff. But what if someone who can. Sometimes a libertarian or yes, green party get gets traction. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Say that. Yeah. Third party gets Wait, so like you're saying since, since if I get your 5%, that makes me get 10 Well, now your 15% is way better than 10%. Right. Okay. Um, and say there's other people that are like 10%. Um, you're going to get your support. They're going to call because Diego, if he gets mine, now he's right there with her. Gets mine, puts her over the top. They're all wanting my support. They'll say, Look, we got a place for you. We need a secretary of whatever, or you can be this. Yeah. So, we think you have good skills. Yes. How much does like, like the Secretary of State, Attorney General, and stuff like that? How much do they get paid? Um, this will come in play, but that, that, that makes sense. Everybody wants my, my 5%. Okay. Now we get after these are all over, and by the time, by the time we, 
This is spread out throughout the spring. There's Super Tuesday, where there's like 10 primaries at one time. Yeah. But they're spaced out. They're all the same day. Um, by the time we get to the middle of the spring, you pretty much know most of the time, here's the Democratic and here's the Republican nominee. How fast do those like, results come out? It's instant now. As soon as it's over, they don't do it preliminary anymore. They do it as soon as the polls are closed. Sometimes they'll say we need more time to count stuff. That's if it's like really big or not. Is it weird how much you can change them? Is like, yes. Like last, I feel like 2020 was like, in spring, Kamala Harris was like the leading, and then all of a sudden, it was like, oh no, we're gonna, Joe is the leading, and we're just having to run as the DNC. Did the DNC decide that? Who decided that? It's probably some smoke filled room. Somewhere, a little dark. Yeah. A lot of people don't like to hold this ring up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Clinton somewhere in the back. <laughs> in early summer, every state will have they'll have their state Democratic and Republican conventions. I can't imagine anything worse. Except for maybe a national party convention. A state party, no, that's got to be worse. It's just so spare and lame. You know, at least the national convention, you're in some big, huge arena. Right. And there's stuff, but the Texas the Democratic convention. Lame. Oh, yeah, it's pretty narrow. And it's all kinds, all it is there is a bunch of, uh, Jake, you got it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get that. Um, a bunch of face painters. Yeah. Well, you know, I think I've heard before that, like, in the red states, yeah. that, like, the Democrats that are there are typically more radical oh, yeah. than, like, because they are, they like, have to be. since, yeah, since they're factionalized, like, we're, we're okay, we're okay, it's a yes, we are okay, it's okay, they don't, <laughs> yeah, they just, they're freaking out, there's like seven of them, they're gone, but they're, they're face painters, you know what I mean by face painters? Yeah, like, they just take into a they, I like the Packers, but I'm not painting the face. I like the long ones, but I paint in the face. They're, they're Democratic. You never paint your face with Packers? I never. I'm, I'm, no, I wouldn't do that. Well, you wouldn't <laughs> use it. Well, I wouldn't wear it. I wouldn't wear the costume. So I'll wear a jersey and go, yeah. But I'm not wearing the costume. Yeah. What is that? One point for a couple. State Democratic and Republican conventions. Okay. They, now, they use these numbers. At these state conventions, they pick the delegates. No, that was a good game. To go to the national yeah, party conventions. And all these people here want to go to this. They can't wait. They have red, white, and blue shirts. They have Uncle Sam hats. And there's always a blonde lady with a white shirt and a huge Uncle Sam hat at every convention I've ever seen on, on TV. For what, what kind of convention is this? Democrat or Republican. Yeah. Oh, we have national conventions. Now, they use these numbers. If there is 100 delegates going to the national convention, five of those are going to be Ryle supporters. Ten of those are Pearson supporters. Yep. And so on like that. Now, by the time we get to this, we've all thrown our support behind whoever the actual nominee is. But however you do in the, in the state primary is how many delegates you get at the national convention. Oh, so like, since you, since I won 10%, 10 of the primary, 10 of those 100 will be. Then at the National Convention, I get that many people that vote for me. But your people are already going for. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, the primaries have already decided. Now, there's not 100 delegates. There's more than 100. But that just helps me. Who, how are these delegates chosen? Face painters? Face painters. Kind of like the little I really don't know. I don't want to know. Yeah. Because that would mean I would kind of probably be there at some point. I don't yeah, know. Probably not is it like, that's a lot yeah. to just choose. Is that the Electoral College? Is that kind of like that where it's like... The Electoral College will come from most people. Yeah. Parker. I can see Parker at one of these. Yeah. <laughs> he would definitely be there. So we got that. Now, late summer, you have the National Convention. Y'all don't know about these, but when I was growing up, we had five TV channels. 
Um, the day. You had ABC, CBS, NBC. You had the Cartoon Channel, which wasn't the Cartoon Network. It was Channel 11 because they have cartoons in the morning. And they had um, Hogan's Heroes and Dick Van Dyke and Lucy and the Eagles. And then the, uh, the Sesame Street Channel. So those were your channels. Three of those, when the national conventions were going on, would be national convention. Games on like the uh, happy days is supposed to be on. No, we gotta watch. So, teachers, please post attendance. Nothing like. Thank you. Hmm. Well, here's the convention. Oh, uh, three things happened at the convention. In in past times, like a hundred years ago, the drama would be who's going to be the candidate. Today we don't have that drama. In 2016, there was drama in the Democrats between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton going all the way up to the convention, but that is not how it happened today. But but they have, mean, like they actually didn't know. They really, because there's some kind of delegate question, and Bernie wouldn't quit, and yeah. Hillary was all mad. And Bernie so, like the delegates when they go to the, oh, the convention, they, 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 don't they don't have to. They don't have, have to. to. No, there could be fun that it goes on, but it, we quit. We did that 100 years ago. Wait, wait, so they don't have to vote for the first one with their They don't have to. And they don't, well, so But you don't want to have, you want to win the election. So you don't want to, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to pull some crap. Right, yeah. I'm going to be really cool and vote for this one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> they officially pick a candidate. And it's all show and production at each state. The, the night that they pick the candidate, the, the arena is, and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an arena, it's an 18,000 seat arena, and it's packed. And Texas has their delegation, and Nebraska, and Illinois, and, and the microphone goes around, and every state gets to announce their vote. So say they have like 500 delegates, or 400 delegates, or 200, whatever. They, uh, the person who did, yes, the great state of Texas, the state of the, they'll go on for 10 minutes describing their state. And, how great their state <laughs> is. and Connecticut, Connecticut talks for like 30 seconds, they talk real slow. Yes, the great state of Connecticut. There's nothing in Connecticut. The state <laughs> you can't spell. The state, anyway, they, they go on and on and on. And then, and then they finally say, Cast all of our food votes for the next presidential states. Yay! When, when they get to the number that you have to have, they finally drag that out and they finally announce it in balloons, and confetti, and Wait. bands are playing. <laughs> and it goes that on. So good. It goes on for ten minutes, and then finally, they, and then they have to keep going. So if you're the state, you always want to be the state that announces it. Yeah. But then after, if you're after that, you're like, well, yeah, we, we, we cast our votes for yeah, the next president. We've always said, yeah, they would go vote for that person. Yes, yes. Wait, so you said that one state cast their votes, and then that means that puts them that puts them over the top, and then the whole thing shuts down. Yeah, it's like when you throw the the fiftieth touchdown pass of the year, and the game stops yeah. for a little bit, and you have a little ceremony. Yeah, and, and then you just have to keep playing. Play. Yeah, so. Like the each state, is there like a leader of each state that's saying this? Like a democratic leader of each state? Yeah, I guess I don't know how they pick who that is. Yes, yeah. probably the lead also, vice mayor. Is there such thing as being like a card carrying member of like a party? I've heard that. Yeah. I don't want to know about that. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I would like, never do my that. My question is like how, how, I don't know, but it's like when I go, it's on the primaries, if I'm a Republican, can I go vote for a Democrat? Or okay. I have to prove that? Yes, let's do. I'm a yeah, card carrying member. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How does card yes. yeah, How do all these things get picked? Because like, do they approach you or? Is it, I mean, you mean like be a delegate? Yeah. What kind of qualification do you have to have? The you have to show up at the meetings and be loud and be proud and paint the face. That's what you go. Do. <laughs> and y'all earn your way up. I, wait. So how do you just get, you just get to pick them? <laughs> Yeah, I guess you gotta make yourself known. So, so who picks them? Who actually picks them? There's gotta be a committee or William something. William Bossweed? Or a group. Yeah. yeah. Boss. Yeah. Uh, He's still alive. Still kicking. Now, you, you asked a question about um, the Libertarian and the Green Party. Like, where do they go? Okay. 
Okay, they they do have conventions. It's kind of funny they didn't screw things up. But it's usually at like the. This is the It's usually at like the. Uh, the local the, local the, local 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 the Beaumont Holiday Inn. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, this is Wait, right. so is this like this whole system of like yes. fifty Democratic primaries, fifty Republican yes. primaries? This isn't like nowhere in the Constitution. We just came up with this. No, we just did. So, so we just decided we well, should have parties. And you had people run, okay, and. If you have seven people running, and like this person is a Whig and this person is a Tory, okay, that's like three. It's like, well, wait, we gotta kind of make it so that it kind of just develops. Yeah, I get. I mean, I understand because like if you're in the interest of people, like say six people have pretty similar values, yes, but not exactly the same, and they're all running. Well, it's like, well, you're gonna divide up the votes so yes. nobody's gonna win. Like somebody that's in completely different. Vote. In elementary, I guess it is that. Throughout, I guess it didn't happen in kindergarten, but starting in first grade, Trey and Pacer decided we we're going to be on the same team and we're going to win, we're going to dominate. Right. And Coach Burke quickly learned okay, Trey, you're over here. Pacer, you're over here. Yeah. You're going to make this work. And, you know, it just kind of developed, it evolved and developed from that. It makes sense. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's that's right. right. That's people. Yeah. A big first, a big a big tray. Yeah. No, you can't do that. You can't do it. Yeah, the key is one of y'all has to be team captain. <laughs> yeah. Now that's the worst. They pick a candidate. They also I got a video clip to show you. They also <laughs> after they pick the candidate, the candidate oh, picks a vice president. Yes. Now the vice president in, in recent times, that's the drama. Who is the vice president going to be? And sometimes they ruin it by picking them before the convention. And then he got nothing. So, when you pick a vice president, you're picking somebody that's going to get you votes. So if I'm running, I'm not going to pick another old white guy from the South. I might pick a northern minority girl who has Washington experience. Because they're going to bring in other voters. Now that's dumb, but that's the way it is. Um, and if you look, most president, and vice president, they are they have similar views, but they're they're different. So do you think that like is that how it works? Like you you pick a VP because you think that like do people actually vote? Because like because they like I don't really know much about that president, but I really like their VP. So like, when Kennedy was running, he was a, a Yankee Catholic, and. You're not going to get a ton of votes as a Yankee Catholic. Right. So he picked LBJ, who he couldn't stand. They hated LBJ, but he was an old Southern Democrat. Yeah. Yes. And now people say, well, they got LBJ, so I'll trust him. So when President Kennedy asked someone to run as a good vice president, do they, I mean, they really don't know that well? Sometimes they don't. Yeah. Sometimes they do. So, but wait, it's all about getting elected. Does the right. delegates does, does the delegates pick it, or the president just gets? President pick. gets to pick. Or the, or the, candidate. the person the candidate, candidate gets to pick. And they don't. Yeah. So, so what if someone completely random that doesn't really have political experience, yeah, but not get the vote? Okay. John McCain, war hero, Vietnam POW, boring as all get out. He was a okay. He deserves any kind of credit. He, he still walks. They broke his arm every day, so he could not hardly use his arm. Okay, so I'm not bad mouthing John. Very boring. Very and and he was moderate. He wasn't extreme. And well, what party was he in? Republican. Yeah. He ran against Obama. The Donald Trump didn't like him. Uh, I had nothing against him. He didn't stir up excitement. Okay. It was like his turn. Okay. He's the one that picked Sarah Palin, governor of Alaska. She was excited. She was out there. It was fresh. It was new. And all of a sudden, his poll numbers went up. Whoa, it's exciting. And then she talked. And the <laughs> poll numbers went up. What's going on with her? What is she? She just, I mean, what did you wrong with her? She just was very opinionated. Well, also she was from Alaska. And she had, and they made fun of that, and she had, the, she had an accent, and she was very loud to talk like that, and everybody's like, oh, wait a minute, no. Did she used to have a TV show or something? Probably so. Yeah. 
I know. I, I but know that's the closest thing to just like who? No one had ever heard of this lady. Which was part of why I did it, because he was an old senator. But everybody knew who he was. And here's this fresh, new, exciting person here. Okay. All right. You think Ted Cruz is going to try again, man? He's trying to. Yes, campaign money, yes. He's been trying for like 15 years. All right, let's go ahead and get to your question about the third party. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes I do gain a little bit of traction. Like that. Do you remember 2016 when some guy remind me we're here, Monday? Okay, I didn't do the third. That seems so unlikely to do that. The yeah. only chance somebody has of being president is being a Democrat or a Republican. That's the only way you're guaranteed to get on every ballot in every state. So then, what's even the point? Well, that's kind of what I'm going to say. Even though the third party candidate is usually the best candidate, more often than not. They're way more appealing than the people that's around. So let's say we got an independent. I'm going to give you Ross Perot. Um, President Bush, the first one, and Bill Clinton. This is in 1992. I voted for Ross Perot. Ross Perot was Donald Trump without being a despicable human being. He was a businessman, he had great ideas, he could get things done, but he did not. He was a moral guy. Yes. So he wasn't like, he wasn't, he wasn't libertarian. He didn't have to work for party, he was just independent. He, he was a reformed party. What, what, he ran for president as a Republican, he said, no, then he ran over here. And they started the reform party. And that's how most of this happens. So if he run, thought he could get traction, why doesn't he just run under? He did. And, but President Bush was the incumbent president. But he had, he had said, I'm not raising taxes, and then the Democrats talked him into raising taxes to pay down the debt. And then they played the video of him saying, no new taxes, and then he raised taxes. So they snookered him into, into this deal. Yeah, my foot, yes. Yeah, yeah. Bill Clinton got like 43% of the vote. Bush got like 30, no, say 41%. Yeah. And Perot got 12%. Won that election? No, but he did win the majority, right? Well, no, he got the electoral vote. Oh. Clinton won the election because Ross Perot ran. If he didn't run, all these votes would have gone here and Bush would have had a landslide. But he ran. The opposite won. In 2000, you had Al Gore, who was a Democrat, Governor Bush, who was a Republican. And Ralph Nader ran with the Green Party. His economic plan was if you make more than $100,000 a year, all the rest goes to the government. So if you made $350,000 that year, two fifty dollars went to the government. That's you get the no, that was Nader's plan. So as an independent nominee, you don't have a primary election so it's basically just up to you. Well, you do have, there might be, the Reform Party used to have primaries. But it was, if you tell, maybe not. But it depends on how much they got. Yeah. How does, besides, like, on the actual ballot, like on voting day, you, you, have, to have, you, have, to you have to have signatures. And prove, like, you are like 50,000 signatures. Democrats are Republicans are always going to get on the ballot. All these, you're going to have 12 people on the ballot when you're going to vote for your first presidential candidate. All these weird things you've never heard of. Uh, but they're not going to be in every state. Um, Nader was very liberal. So Moore was liberal. When you go, Bush won. When you go and vote, you're not just voting for president. No. What else do you vote for? There's maybe a senator, maybe your representative, there's local stuff, there's state stuff. Um, there's well, multiple things going on. It's kind of weird because I wouldn't think there are any people. You know, and what I tell you all is, if you don't know what it is, don't vote. If you don't know what this office is or any of these people, don't vote because you're just guessing. You're just skewing. Kind of like yeah. Y'all, great weekend.